It's late at night and I'm goddamn tired, but I couldn't not talk about today's Apple announcements a bit, right? If you're not already aware, Apple announced a bunch of new things today. The big one is the Vision Pro, their new VR headset. I I have a lot of headsets, so I have a lot to say there. But they also announced things around Mac, iPhone, and a bunch of other stuff. want to go through it really quick and give my perspective as a developer who's been writing code for all sorts of devices, including Apple devices, for like 15 years now. Cut. I cut. Sorry. My, uh... Cat is feeling needy. Thing one, MacBook Air 15 inch. Why am I talking about this as a developer? Well, developers don't need MacBook Pros. I'm so tired of every dev specking up their machine to hell and back getting this really powerful, massive computer. I was on a MacBook Air until kind of recently when I upgraded. I didn't upgrade for code, I upgraded it for video editing. If you're considering a Mac and you really want the bigger screen, the MacBook Air 15 inch is going to be hard to beat. I like smaller screens, but it's a good computer, don't count it out. After that, Apple announced the upgrade to the Studio and the new Mac Pro. This was a bit interesting because the Studio and the Pro have the exact same specs minus the PCI slots. And I guess PCI slots cost two thousands of dollars. I'm not saying the Mac Pro is bad. It's for a very specific group of people that need a very specific type of expandability. But if you're buying the Mac Pro for code, you are dumb. If you're buying the Mac Pro for anything other than the PCI slots, you are stupid. Just get the Mac Studio. It is a great computer, and there's no real difference beyond those parts. iOS 17 was originally rumored to be a maintenance release, and it kind of shows it. There's almost no major features. They just kind of, like, tidied things up a bit. It's nice to see, but, like, autocomplete's gonna get better. Maybe they're using AI. Yeah. Uh, one other cool thing they announced there, though, is Metal 3. Metal's the graphics engine Apple made to compete with things like DirectX and Vulkan. It's meant for running really graphically intense applications like games. And they actually announced a bunch of games, which is really cool to see. Somehow they got Hideo Kojima on stage for all this, which was interesting. But one of the more interesting parts of the Metal stuff was the announcement of working with Unity. And the slide was interesting where they showed it. It looked like there was a space missing underneath Unity that should have been for Epic. But... Uh, there's some drama between Epic and Apple, and uh, I'll wear my heart on my sleeve. I'm an Apple fanboy. I'm Team Epic on this one. Sweeney is making the right call, and there should be better ways to collect payments as an application developer. I could do a long video about Epic versus Apple in the future. Let me know in the comments if you're interested in that from my perspective. But that's what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about the VR headset. So what do I think? I think I have to think a lot more. I've tried and owned almost every major VR headset. I somewhat recently returned my Quest Pro because it was not good. I love the ergonomics though. And it seems like that's one of the big things Apple aimed for with their new headset is making it fit just right. Not just like on your head and how comfy it is, but how it lines itself up with your eyes, how you control it. It all needs to fit together in a single cohesive system. And I'm excited to see how Apple pulled that off. Most of the specs aren't known yet, but Apple's chips are the best in the world. I've been saying for a while how much I would kill to have a Nintendo Switch with Apple's chips instead of, like, NVIDIA's in them. Because Apple's just so far ahead of every other company when it comes to portable, power-efficient processor design. And although I'm sad I won't be playing Fortnite or Fall Guys on this headset anytime soon, the future is bright for virtual reality gaming in the Apple ecosystem. Developing for this is going to be weird, though. Today, they put out an emulator for XROS because they want developers to start experimenting with creating in this new way, making interfaces and applications that feel good in an augmented reality environment. When the iPhone came out, it was years before they introduced the App Store, and so many people already had iPhones that by the time they introduced it, it was pretty easy to develop against your actual iPhone right there. It does feel weird we have to simulate something as significant as the virtual reality experience, but... I get it. It's not too bad. I want to play with it still. Haven't had a chance. The, the I don't want to install Xcode. I'll probably wait until there's Unity SDKs as a, it seems like they're partnered pretty close and I am somewhat more familiar with Unity. But man, it's tempting. For looking over from the web dev world that I've been in so long, it's, it's very fun to see hardware that does such cool things and I haven't been able to justify working on an app in a while. What about you? Are you excited about the new Apple stuff? Is virtual reality something you could see yourself building tools for in the future? Are you going to go make your app ready for Vision OS? I'd love to hear what y'all think in the comments. I really have no idea how you guys are going to feel about this, but uh, let me know. Uh, I'll pin a video that's interesting in the corner here. Put a lot of work into these, so check it out if you haven't already. 
Thank you as always. Peace, nerds.